Hi, I'm Patrick Tan from the Duke NUS Graduate Medical School Singapore at the Singapore Gastric Cancer Consortium. I'd like to present to you the results of our study entitled Intrinsic Subtypes of Gastric Cancer Based on Gene Expression Patterns Predict Survival and Respond Differently to Chemotherapy to be published in Gastroenterology. Gastric cancer is currently one of the leading causes of cancer death worldwide, second only to lung cancer. A fundamental challenge in the treatment of gastric cancer is that currently there is no way to accurately predict which patient will have aggressive disease, nor which patients will respond to a particular treatment. As a result, most gastric cancer patients today are treated with a one-size-fits-all approach, resulting in markedly diverse clinical outcomes. New strategies are thus required to stratify gastric cancer patients into specific disease subgroups that are both clinically and biologically homogeneous, and to, and to treat each subgroup with a customized and optimized treatment plan. Previous studies using genomic profiling to subclassify gastric cancers have typically used small patient populations and tested in only one or two patient series. In this study, we undertook a different approach and hypothesized that genomic analysis of a large panel of gastric cancer cell lines might uncover novel molecular subtypes that might have been previously missed. Because cell lines are by definition composed entirely of cancer cells, we decided to refer to these subtypes as intrinsic subtypes. Analyzing the gene expression profiles of 40 gastric cancer cell lines, we discovered, to our surprise, two very distinct subtypes. These intrinsic subtypes exhibited very distinct gene expression patterns, as shown by this gene expression heat map, where a gene signature of 170 genes could clearly distinguish between the two subtypes. Moreover, using pathway analysis, we were able to show that these two subtypes were associated with very different biological and cellular programs, indicating that they likely represent a very deep biological division between two different versions of gastric cancer. To explore the clinical in vivo relevance of this in vitro derived cell line signature, we then proceeded to map this signature onto cohorts of primary gastric cancer patients and asked if patient subgroups defined by this signature might differ in any clinical parameters. In total, we analyzed over 500 gastric cancer patients derived from a variety of different clinical populations and different countries. Using kaplan meier survival analysis, as shown in this graph, we found that patients belonging to one of these subgroups called genomics intestinal or GINT exhibited significantly better clinical outcomes compared to patients belonging to the other subgroup called genomics diffuse or GDIF. This difference in survival remains significant even after adjusting for other clinical parameters such as disease stage. Thus, the intrinsic subtype signature despite being derived from an in vitro setting, clearly carries true prognostic relevance. We then proceeded to ask a related question. Do these intrinsic subtypes also respond differently to specific therapies? To answer this question, we then embarked on a series of in vitro experiments where we treated the cell lines with a variety of different chemotherapies all currently used to treat gastric cancer patients, including 5-fluorouracil, 5-FU, oxaliplatin, and cisplatin. To our surprise, we found that cell lines belonging to the genomics intestinal group were significantly more sensitive to 5-FU and oxaliplatin, while cell lines belonging to the GDIF subgroup were more sensitive to cisplatin. This was extremely exciting to us because this is the first time a proposed molecular classification of gastric cancer has been found to be associated with responses to therapy. Importantly, in the case of 5-FU, we were then able to clinically validate this predictive capacity by evaluating the clinical outcomes of patients treated with 5-FU adjuvant chemoradiation. 
Taken collectively, our results support the existence of at least two fundamentally different subtypes of gastric cancer, each associated with distinct molecular, clinical and drug response features. In the near future, we're currently working to further validate these intrinsic subtypes in a series of retrospective patient cohorts. In addition, we've also initiated a prospective clinical trial where gastric cancer patients are genomically profiled before treatment and treatment allocated based upon the profiling results. We hope that our experiences in these projects will ultimately contribute towards the goal of providing customized and personalized therapies to those specific patient populations that are most likely to clinically respond. We hope that you will read our paper and thank you for your attention.